Hey students, it's Elizabeth here. You probably don't recognize me with my mask up, but probably gonna have to get used to that this year, right? So I thought I would come and introduce myself to you while I'm doing something I love. I am out, I'll show you, I'm out near the Huron River. Oh, look at that beauty. What a way to start the day. I'm out cycling and I'm um, trying to be good to myself. And I was thinking as I was writing about you all this morning and how as we come into the school year, that's gonna be so critical, being good to ourselves. Like, I'm going to school right after this, but I still got up, I got on my bike, probably get in 17 miles, probably not my longest, but definitely not my shortest ride. And I'm gonna try to keep doing that during the school year because well, I won't be able to do it in the winter, I'll have to figure out something else. The thing that I know is that when I'm good to myself, I'm great at school. So think about that. Think about a routine that you can set for yourself that's gonna make you feel good every day and make you wanna do well in school and then follow it. Okay. Hey everybody. So I made it to our classroom and I'm looking around and I'm thinking, I've got some work to do. I've got to figure out how we're going to make this the best learning environment that we can in our new circumstances. So really, I have to adapt. And I want you to think about that too. Now we're going to meet each other online and we're going to do a lot of great work the first month of school. But after that, we're going to be together. And so we're gonna find new systems for getting our work done and for thinking about um, how we best learn. But you know what? We all learned some great things in the spring and even over the summer, we learned how to be flexible and how to adapt, how to grocery shop differently, um, how to learn differently. So I know that you have a bunch of skills to bring to this and I can't wait until I get to meet you and we get to learn together in this space so that's probably not gonna be for another month or so. So I'm gonna be working on it. I'm gonna make it the best environment that it can be. So while I'm doing that, I want you to be thinking about how are you gonna be adaptive at school? What are you gonna do to make sure that you get the best education possible? And between the two of us, I know we're gonna make it a great year. Hey everybody, this is really the last thought I have for you. I'm here at school and I'm thinking about how I'm going to create this environment, right? And I've already had some ideas come to me. It's super exciting because it's Wednesday and I know you're going to be getting your yearbooks. I had to create a new system for that. I just bagged up 60 bags for my English class so you can come get your books to read. I've just, um, also been working on um, your new credentials and how we're gonna get around and take pictures. All ideas that I had to create based on our situation. But creation can be so invigorating. It makes you feel good when you can not just make something beautiful, that, that is a creation, but a creation is also um, finding a way to solve a problem. And we're gonna do a lot of that together this year. So as I leave you and we um, start our class together, I want you to be thinking about how can you create? How can you create a great learning experience? How can you create um, a way of being that is going to serve you and your fellow classmates, um, whether you're on a team with me or you're in an English class? Um, being able to create in a time like this is really the best skill that we can probably bring to it. So we want to be good to ourselves. We want to be adaptive and we want to be creators. Those are the things that I wish for us in this um, coming next few months. So be thinking about those ideas and I can't wait to meet you all. See you soon.